then to finish the caricot off I've um, trimmed the seams a bit the seam allowances and I've flattened the bottom um, I finished the seams off in the bottom part and in the lining kept the lining out of the way and the handles out of the way and stitched across the bottom now you'll find that your sewing machine doesn't like stitching on the headliner very much so I've used some of the scraps of tearaway stabiliser out of my bin along there which makes it better and I've also increased the stitch size a little bit as well because that makes it better too and all we've got to do now I hope you can see this is cut a square out here and at the other end I'm going to cut this square out so if I do that well, this isn't rocket science and if you cut the first one like that you can just go to the other end and use the first one as a pattern to cut the second one so it's very simple this is how we get the corners and how we make a nice base then what you have to do is squidge that like that and stitch across I'm reaching down to my bin for a scrap of stabiliser to stitch through and I can see through it uh, you may not be able to but I can so I can stitch across there and my needles come unthreaded so uh, let's just do that again So you don't be put off when things go a bit wrong because they're usually very easy to put right. And that time it has stitched and that's made the corner of one end of our caricot. Now I'm going to go to the other end and do the, the other part and it falls into place quite well actually. Uh, that bit of tear away stabiliser is now rubbish. So get another piece out of the bin and stitch across so now we've got two corners and I can turn the whole thing the right way around I'll show you the base there of the Caricot and the other end like that and it stands like that I think that's the head end but it's slightly higher and you can push the lining inside and we've got a caricot now what we have to do is to measure the rectangle of the base cut a piece of um, card about that size and cover that with something soft to make a mattress and then we're nearly there so uh, we have to stitch across the bottom of here all we do really because it won't be seen is to turn the edges in and stitch them together um, once you're sure that they're the right size mine's plenty big enough so just turn that in like that all the way along and it doesn't really matter that you're stitching this with non-matching thread because this won't be seen it'll be underneath the mattress so I'm just going to stitch along like that and uh, that's it really and you'll see the finished product in a few minutes 